Homeland Security just issued a new request for information on fedbizops.gov called the Multimodal Biometric Solution for Land Border Exit. Basically, Homeland wants companies to submit informal proposals for how they'd help the government biometrically track through facial or iris recognition at least 97% of all the people who leave the U.S. at land borders. They want to be able to identify by face or eyeball everyone who walks or drives out of the U.S. along its land borders and keep a record of it. They say this tracking will improve reporting analysis a favorite catch-all excuse for surveillance. But here is by far the creepiest part of the proposal. They want the technology to, quote, require limited or no direct traveler information or physical contact if possible. In other words, they want people to have no idea they've just been tracked, I guess. According to the request document, an average of 22,000 non-US citizens can walk into and out of the US every day in a 12-hour period. Homeland wants to be able to facially recognize every single one of them. They also want anyone who submits ideas about how to do that to remember that the U.S. wants the technology generic enough so they can integrate it with all of their other spy toys. They want you to develop it for them and then go away, basically. So the U.S. wants to track every single visitor as they leave the U.S., probably without them knowing it. Not exactly a friendly, neighborly approach. But if you think it sounds like a good idea, because that's the kind of world we live in, then consider this. Homeland's been trying to figure out how to track everyone leaving this country to no avail for over a decade. Now they're going to spend billions more to keep trying to figure it out. Even the government's own accountability office considers Homeland's acquisition programs, like this one, to be at high risk for abuse, always costing more than they should, taking more time than they should, and delivering less than promised. So either this initiative makes the U.S. the world's creepiest host, or it's yet another colossal drain of our tax dollars for nothing. Either way, if you're planning on crossing the U.S. border anytime soon, you might want to wink or smile or something just to say hello to all who are watching. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.